Howdy folks, welcome to week two of the new organic feast. Welcome back from Easter, I hope you've all had a, a wonderful break. Uh, we did, we had a couple of days off, it was very nice. Probably shouldn't, much work to do here, but we shall get there. Something to note with the public holiday, that breads for tomorrow, Wednesday, um, not all Fridays will be available, but we do have some fresh Bill's Bakery, some fresh Naturis, La Tartine will be in fresh tomorrow morning, and so will Fosterton Farm. Comes in nice and warm. It's a good one to get. No healthy bacon until Friday deliveries. And of course our delivery schedule is back to normal after last week. This week's special, beautiful carrots. Now they've been outstanding lately. Like the colour, the sweetness. I actually eat these without putting anything on them. They're just good on their own. Isn't that good? They have flavour. You can enjoy it on their own. 320 a kilo, usually 5.95. Very good buy. Now cauliflowers this week are nice and large. Nice fresh white faces. Green cabbage quite large. Leeks are little. They're your bunches of beetroot, but really bulbs if you're baking or juicing. It's a beautiful range of fresh herbs in from Jacob's Ladder up at Hilldale. There's some lovely little rosemary and oregano. It's the mint, lemongrass, parsley, dill, my favourite, coriander, avic roots. Now as with last week as well, we have three colours of sweet potato. Got your beautiful rich Asian whites which are purple inside. Now that's a drier style of sweet potato, not as sweet as the purple skin sweet potato, white flesh on the inside. They're like yin and yang. These bake up super sweet, really really good. Of course the gold sweet potato, the one that we're mostly familiar with. The pumpkins, look at the colour of the pumpkins, they're nice and bright. It's a Jap butternut. We've also got a little bit of Queensland blue in fresh spuds this week. Two picks in my opinion. The Dutchies. And there's the baker, nice and fresh out of the ground. We also do have Pontiac and Nicola, just not quite as fresh dug. Plenty of capsicum. Red capsicum is in good supply, which is, I guess you're getting towards the end of the season, so they're ripening up nicely. Nice sized pieces too, which, as you're probably well aware, red capsicum tends to be much more expensive than the green because the ripe fruit growing organically, of course, they're much more prone to attack from insects. So quite a challenge getting through to this age and they don't artificially ripen them. Also plenty of green. Now I can just hear the kids at home going, Mum, Mum, can we have choco tonight? Can we have chocos? Julia loves them. Other people love them. I know you do. Boiled, a bit of salt, a bit of butter. So it really is kind of change of season kind of thing, you know. We're getting towards the end of uh, a good, you know, huge supply of zucchini. So we've got larger sizes. Good flush of tomatoes on towards the end. Large cucumbers and little Lebanese cucumbers. As you can see, there's quite a nice range of leafy veg, masculine mix, baby spinach, rocket, packaging made from biodegradable corn starch. Good range of sprouts too. We're getting broccoli sprouts, buckwheat sprouts, and radish sprouts. We also have the more common mung beans, salad sprouts, and alfalfa. The cherry tomatoes, a little baby romas, so the low acid style. Again, getting towards the end of a summer flush of broccoli, so they're larger heads. Button mush, crisp browners, the sugar snaps are outstanding, lovely sweet little critters. Broccolini I love, they're so easy to throw into stir fryers. And so our fruit special is celebrating the arrival of the citrus season, so it's well on its way. Lemons, Julia assures me she's got a very good lemon cake recipe on her email this week. So have a look at that. Starting to get a little bit of a, a leaner selection yeah, yeah. in terms of fruit, but look, gala apples, outstanding. They're still the pick of the apples as far as I'm concerned. There are a few other varieties. Bananas are smaller hands, and you can see that they're just starting to colour up, so they'll be good eating come Wednesday, Thursday. Oh, we've got a deal on the figs. They've been very, very good. You can buy three and get a little bit of a discount. Pineapples are well priced. Now really, it's getting to the end of grape season, so please indulge while you can, because look, you won't get them from us again until next year. Supermarkets, of course, will have them out in spring, but that'll be old fruit or imported fruit. Get your fill of good Australian organic grapes now. The pick at the Crimson Seedless, they're so sweet, really, really nice. We also do have white grapes and the Red Glow. Both have a small amount of seed, but for sweetness, Crimson Seedless are outstanding. That's all we'll show you in terms of produce for now. What I'd like to do is introduce you to Linda Loju. She's renting a little bit of space off us here at our new store. Give you an opportunity to have a little look at what all the good things that she has uh, on offer. Welcome, sitting with Linda Loju of Dragonfly Toys. You've got a little bit of space here at Organic Feast. Would you like to tell us what inspired the start? Dragonfly? Dragonfly. Um, basically selling things that I like for, for my own children. 
things that have come from a good background that have an ethical trading background. You know, really nice handmade toys. Keeping the magic of childhood alive. Keeping the magic of childhood yeah. alive. No. Oh, Hannah! <laughs> I was bored. Hoping to bring in a lot more uh, locally produced things as well. So I've got four hand dyed, hand spun wools in beautiful colours that are made locally. And I've also got some local sort of crafts people who are making dolls and different things like that as well. That um, over time I'll get more and more of their things in so that it can also hopefully become a place where people locally who are making beautiful things for children or otherwise can have a place to sell them as well. So at Organic Feast, I mean obviously we're about a healthy lifestyle, good food and, and nurturing your, your soul through food and good nourishment but also I think the reason we like having dragonfly toys here also about you know nurturing the mind, the mind of the young. Simple things are often the best thing. That's why we have Wendy here and her beautiful range of things. So, look, thanks for watching. Yeah, Linda's got lots of great stuff, eh? Why don't you pop up and, and have a look, or at least go and visit her website, which you'll see the link to her website on the bottom, on the front page of ours. In the next week or so, we'll have a more detailed video focused entirely on her products, just to get you a, a better overview of what's there. So, look, have a good week. See you next time. Bye.